Yo, it's your boy Rye Dollars and welcome back to the channel. I realize it's been a minute since I put out Apex content, so I wanted to do a little check-in and let you guys know where I'm at. Apex is dying, here's why! Just kidding. So given its current state, I did end up taking a month off from playing the game, which is the longest break I've ever taken. Appreciate your patience, just needed to take a step back to self-evaluate and evaluate the direction of this channel. I'm not necessarily burnt out on the game, or I'm making videos, so don't worry, Apex content will continue. But since returning, I was quickly reminded how important it is to have in-game goals outside of the I want to hit X arbitrary rank. For me, all I've ever wanted was to get better, and to be the best player I can possibly be, so in today's video, I want to go over some traits that I believe all the best players have, and what it takes to become a great Apex Legends player. Alright, first and foremost, you gotta have love for the game. You hear it all the time, creators and pros throwing the word passion around. Or in sports, athletes constantly reiterate that they love the game because for what it takes to be great and perform at the highest level, you do have to be passionate about your craft to be able to grind. Take players like Imperial Hal or Designful for example, very polarizing figures in the community. I'm not saying scream at your teammates, but I am pointing out the level of give a fuck here that's worth observing. I'm just tired of the starting slow shit bro, can we lock it the f in? <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you laughing about? It's not f***ing funny. You're a f***ing moron, that's what. Dumbass, first f***ing game, the f*** are you doing? Don't get f***ing nervous. No f***ing jitters, no nothing. Like, dude, you're the one that gets it, bro. You're the one that brings it in. F***ing leave it at the door. Come to f***ing work. I am f***ing mental, dude. Lock it the f*** in. Get comfortable being f***ing uncomfortable. There are much healthier ways of communicating for sure, but you can't deny that they both care a lot. At the end of the day, we're what, five and a half years in? We're all here because we love the game. Which brings me to my next point. To be great at Apex, you gotta have competitive stamina. By all reasonable metrics, Apex is a super competitive and demanding title that at times can feel mentally and emotionally taxing. Some of the stamina I'm describing means being able to manage stress, overcome tilt, and maintain focus. But in my opinion, to truly elevate yourself and succeed in this game, there needs to be a certain level of competitiveness. Not with your friends or teammates per se, but with the opposition and with yourself. The ability to play at a high level, push yourself, and go again the next day and do that for a long period of time. Are you willing to spend time in the firing range? Are you willing to solo queue and play by yourself? When the game doesn't feel fun to play anymore during a session and you push through that and keep playing, that's where improvement happens. One might say Steph Curry is the greatest shooter ever. Yes, he's talented, but so much of his greatness is attributed to the relentless work he puts into improving his jump shot every day. Consistent practice will pay dividends to your improvement as a player. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard, one might say. Another trait I think is super important is coachability. This one is often overlooked because most gamers have insane egos, and being coachable goes hand in hand with being humble. How often are you blaming your teammates when things go awry, versus looking in the mirror and evaluating what you could have done better in that situation? Being coachable means being able to receive constructive criticism from a friend or teammate and really considering their perspective without immediately getting defensive. This isn't easy, and is one of the biggest challenges playing Apex Legends presents because, after all, it's a team game. I believe this is a big proponent holding individuals and teams back from truly maximizing their potential. What I'm describing is having a fixed mindset, and to be great, it's important to embrace a growth mindset. Someone with a fixed mindset, more or less, will avoid challenges, refuse to receive criticism or feedback, feel threatened by the success of others, and remain in their comfort zone. A growth mindset is, essentially, to view challenges as opportunities, embrace constructive feedback, be inspired by others' success, learn from failure, and to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. A willingness to step out of your comfort zone directly correlates with the next trait I want to discuss, adaptability. In Apex, this can mean many things. Everybody wants to be the entry fragger Wraith, everybody wants to play Octane, Pathfinder, Horizon, but are you willing to be honest and evaluate a need and play a character whose abilities will help your squad more? I guess to be adaptable can also mean a willingness to sacrifice. If your teammates are rigid with their approach and playstyle, can you adapt your playstyle to play off of them? A good example I can think of is, imagine you're solo queuing ranked, and you match up with the duo. In most instances, as the solo, you should adapt and play off of the duo to fill in the gaps, so to speak. Are you willing to play anchor and sacrifice kills and damage stats for the greater good of the squad? You often hear athletes say, all I want to do is win, or doing whatever it takes to win. It sounds cliche, but it's true, and there's a level of selflessness that is required to be great. Something else that serves as a prerequisite to becoming a great player is being innovative. Sure, being able to play what's meta is a skill in itself, but in my opinion, being able to see the game from a different lens and utilize an innovative approach is an underrated aspect to standing out as a player. 
community as a whole feels largely hive-minded, and being brave enough to play off-meta is something that's often criticized until it's respected. In other words, form your own opinions and don't always do what everyone else is doing. And finally, game sense. What do I mean by game sense? It's essentially your instincts. It's knowing what to do with the tools at your disposal based on the information you have. It's your positioning during fights. It's knowing when to push an advantage or knowing when to disengage. It's how you rotate throughout the match and includes knowledge of macro factors like the number of teams remaining, nearby fights that are taking place or recently took place, zone endings, safe and unsafe angles and buildings, and your team's ability to fight, defend, and rotate. In micro factors like legends on the other team and their strengths, abilities in the game, what weapons the other team are using, and what nearby enemies are likely to do as it gets closer to endgame. Basically I'm describing in-game intelligence or Apex IQ, and it's basically anything that influences your decision making throughout our match. Experience is the best teacher when it comes to improving game sense. Play the game a lot, challenge yourself by putting yourself in a variety of situations, take more fights, and try to pinpoint areas of improvement after every game. Embrace a growth mindset and don't fear failure. Oh, I almost forgot gun skill. Nothing else matters if you're unable to hit shots and secure eliminations. Spare me the aim assist comments, but this comes with practice and through reps, simple as that. Aim assist! But anyways, that's all from me. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.